First, certificate of analogies. A five foot, four inch sophomore, number 10, Delaney Siders. A five foot, five inch freshman, number 12, Lydia Craig. A five foot, three inch freshman, number 14, Bailey Buzzer. A five foot, eight inch freshman, number 24, Carly Snyder. And a five foot, five inch sophomore, number 40, Ava Smith. The Lady Vikings are coached by Tiffany Crocky. And now, let's meet the starters for your Lady Zebras. And then, five foot, three inch freshman, number 40, Mia Hausha. And forward, five foot, nine inch freshman, number 25, Audrey Bullinger. So Rochester going with their standard lineup of Clevenger, Strasser, McCarter, Bullinger, and Outeshell. For the Vikings, it's going to be Siders, Craig, Bussard, Snyder, and Smith to start off the ball game. It's going to be Bollinger and Snyder for the tip here as we get set to go. JV contest. Tip is up and the Vikings control. And a quick bucket inside for the Vikings. And Snyder getting the Vikings on the board. Strasser kicks it over, how to shell, drives baseline, trying to get it to Bollinger. It's going to be kicked out of bounds. It will stay Rochester ball, baseline right. So how to shell will inbound it, gets it over to Clevenger. She's going to take a three on the right wing. It's long Strasser, offensive glass, put back attempt, no good. Rebound to Smith for the Vikings. Long three-pointer, and it goes off the back iron. Siders with the shot for the Vikings. Just getting underway here from Rochester High School Junior Varsity Contest. The Vikings have struck first, lead 2-0 over the Rochester Zebras. Clevenger gets into the paint, and one for the freshman, Riley Clevenger. Foul number 14, buzzer, her first. Riley Clevenger to complete the three-point play. Buzzard with the foul. And Clevenger with the three-point play opportunity. And puts it in, puts the Zebras on top for the first time here this afternoon. I guess it's evening now. Strasser and Clevenger with some good defense there. That shot way off the mark for Siders. 
Looking inside, nice post move that time. Snyder with two more for the Vikings. And Valley back in front, 4-3. Strasser, that shot was blocked that time by Craig. Smith kicks it back up top. Craig over to Smith, her 10 footer across the lane, no good. Offensive rebound, put back is good. Snyder with two more. She has all six of the Vikings' points here in the game so far. How to shell. Bullinger screen and roll, slips it and puts it in for two. Bullinger gets on the scoreboard. And that pulls the Zebras back to within one. Bullinger gets in the passing lane and she's going to get fouled. That's going to be on Craig, her first, team second. Great defense there by Audrey Bullinger. Getting up in the passing lane, forcing the turnover. Now entering the Lady Viking lineup, number 30, Patricia Jimenez. Trisha Jimenez enters the lineup for Valley and give her a shout out. She was uh, wrestling uh, yesterday um, down at Kokomo actually for the girls state wrestling meet. And uh, now here she is tonight playing some basketball. So multi-talented athlete there at Valley. Shot off the mark by Jimenez and she gets the rebound. The runner across the paint is good. Lydia Craig for two for Tippecanoe Valley. Makes it an 8-5 ball game. How to shell. Nice job there again. Bullinger, and that's going to be a foul on Jimenez. Valley shooting foul, number 30, Jimenez for first. Team's third. Shooting two. That'll put Audrey Bowling at the free throw line, shooting two. And she converts the first one. Short on the second. The Vikings come away with the rebound. Siders brings it across the timeline for Tippecanoe Valley. Looking into Snyder, across the lane to Jimenez. Two points for the Vikings. And four point lead is the largest of the game for Valley. That one was blocked by Smith, coming back quickly the other way. And two more for Siders. So, Zebras had pulled it within one, now uh, have uh, a six point deficit here. And the ball with 2.45 to go in the first quarter. Clevenger pulls up for the three off the back iron, no good. And the rebound to Snyder. Inside, Snyder, two more for the Vikings. She has eight in the quarter. Largest lead of the game for Valley, it is eight points. Bollinger, turnaround, nice move there in the paint, not able to uh, finish, and the Vikings come back across. Craig has it up top, passes it over. Smith into Jimenez. Jimenez. 
And good defense there by Bollinger is going to tie it up. So the jump ball will go to Rochester. So the Vikings turn it over. And they're going to say that was out off of McCarter. A lot of contact there by Smith. Strasser gets into the passing lane, knocks it away, but not able to corral it before it goes out of bounds. Will be volleyball here on the near sideline, minute 36 to go in the first quarter. Just inside the three-point line, that shot is long. Rebound, Jimenez. Nice pass inside over to Smith, but she can't put it in. Loose ball. And a double dribble call there on Sider. So the turnover back to the Zebras. Long three. How to shell just off the mark. Sider's quickly down the other end. Jimenez, turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound, and the putback is good for Snyder. Snyder has 10 here in the quarter for the Vikings. Three-pointer, Clevenger got it. Clevenger has six, that cuts the lead to seven. 35 seconds to go here in the quarter. Back the other way, three-pointer, Siders. A shot by Siders makes it a 10-point advantage for the Vikings. Out of bounds on Valley, so it'll be Rochester's ball. Clevenger down to how to shell on the baseline, trying to get it into Carter cuts down, get it into Bullinger. Bullinger was trying to go up to how to shell, it was poked away. And that's going to do it for the first quarter here from Rochester High School. After one, Tippecanoe Valley leads Rochester 19-9 in the JV contest. We'll take a break and come back with second quarter action here on RTC TV4 in just a moment. For Rochester, Clevenger had six and Bullinger had three. It'll be the Vikings with the ball here to start the second quarter. Inside out, and the bucket is good for Craig. She's got four points. Clevenger three-pointer long. Same spot, and Jimenez is going to get called for her second going over the back. Number 34, Chesney Miller checked into the ball game for Valley at the quarter break. Other than that, I believe it's the same five that we started with. Tipped away, and it's going to be off of Valley. Last touched by Snyder. Over the top to Bullinger. Kicks it up to Strasser, and that's going to be a foul coming up on the Vikings. It's going to put Strasser at the free throw line, shooting two for Rochester. They're going to call Chesney Miller on that foul. 
There, Strasser to the free throw line. Dara coming off of a really good game against Logan Sport, where she had 20 points for the junior varsity team. And she puts in the first. Now in the zebra lineup, 31, Sydney Lamb. Thirty-one. Sydney Lamb checks into the game. I'm going to give How to Shell a breather. That free throw is off the mark. Tipped back to Siders. Just inside the three-point line. Shot off the mark there by Snyder. Offensive glass though for the Zebra or the uh, Vikings. And I'm going to say that was off of Rochester, out of bounds. Three-pointer by Siders way off the mark. And that's going to be dribbled out of bounds. Bussard was on the line. Vikings going to pick up some full court pressure here on the Zebras. Good job of breaking that by Rochester. And a foul coming up, I believe, on Siders. That's her first. That's the team's sixth. So Rochester will be in the bonus here on the next foul by Tippecanoe Valley. Rochester just gets it in. Strasser kicks it out. How to shell three pointer short by How to shell. And nice cut there, the bucket by Craig. She has six. And it's tipped out of bounds. Siders with the defense there. And the Zebras will take it on the far sideline. Bullinger coming back into the game for Sidney Lamb. It up ahead to Bullinger, kick back to McCarter. Three-pointer long, and the rebound to Chesney Miller. Nobody picks Miller up. She probably could have took it all the way to the basket. Kicks it out, shot no good. Offensive glass, though, for Lydia Craig. Craig from 15 feet off the mark. Rebound Bullinger. Quickly up ahead to Dara Strasser. McCarter is going to try left baseline. She's short. Rebound. Bullinger. And a tie-up. And that will be the Zebra's ball on the jump. Jump ball. Possession stays with Rochester. Four and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Tiffany Valley leads 22-10 over the Rochester Zebras in the JV contest. Swing it over. McCarter on the baseline. And that's going to be stolen there. Good defense by Chesney Miller, forcing the turnover on the Zebras. Just inside the three-point line for Craig. Her shot is off, but another offensive rebound for Valley. I don't have the tally on the Valley offensive rebounds, but they've got to be... Uh, Stacking up there, and that's Buzzard with the uh, second chance opportunity. A steal by Siders, but she steps on the sideline, so the Zebras will retain possession. Jimenez back into the game for the Vikings. Taking a break is Siders. And Coach Bowers wants to call a 30 for Rochester. We'll keep it here with 3.49 to go. Lydia Craig has four here in the quarter. She has six for the game. Bailey Buzzard has two for Tippecanoe Valley. 
Only one point so far in the quarter. That was Darius Strasser on a one-for-two trip to the free throw line for Rochester. Clevenger still leads the way for the Zebras with six points all in the first quarter. And Carly Snyder had ten, has ten points for the Vikings, all of those in the first quarter as well. Across the uh, midline there, and they trap McCarter. She does a nice job of getting out of that. And kicks it over to Strasser, who kicks it over to Clevenger. Trying to get it into Bullinger, but not able to do that. And it's going to be tipped out of bounds off the Zebras. <laughs> Boy, three girls on Snyder. Snyder kicks it over to Jimenez. That's going to be a jump ball. And, oh, they're going to call a foul. Okay, I thought they uh, signaled jump ball. So that is a foul on Jimenez. That is her third, and that will actually put the Zebras in the one and the bonus. Audrey Bullinger. And the bonus. One of two from the free throw line will be attempting the one and one. And Bollinger good on the first, gets another opportunity. Second one is off. Three-pointer off the mark that time for Buzzard. Coming back the other way, Siders off the mark on another three-point attempt here on the near side. And the ball goes out of bounds off of the Vikings. Vikings picking up in some full court pressure here again. Good job. How to shell gets it across the timeline to McCarter over to Strasser. Clevenger three pointer off the mark. One and done for the Zebras. Miller gets the rebound for the Vikings. Quickly across the timeline. And that shot is off the mark for Craig. Clevenger finds Strasser, and no shot. They're going to call a foul on the floor. Dara Strasser will be going to the free throw line, shooting one and the bonus. Lady Vikings foul, number 10, Siders, her second. That is on Delaney Siders, her second, the eighth team foul. Strasser, shooting one. Is that right? No fouls on Rochester so far? Wow. And no good, offensive glass. No good for Bollinger, but the ball goes out of bounds off of Tippecanoe Valley. Back to How to Shell, shot off the mark. Strasser tried to get the rebound, but Miller comes away with it for the Vikings. Miller kicks it over, Siders, back to Miller, into Craig. Strasser almost got a hand on it, and a travel called on the Vikings. Clevenger, long three, top of the key, off the mark, rebound batted around. And Chesney Miller comes away with that board. Quickly down the floor is Siders, and she's going to get fouled. First foul of the game for the Rochester Zebras. 
And it's going to be Dara Strasser picking up the foul, her first, team's first. Might have been a walk there, but the uh, turnover nonetheless as Strasser gets into the passing lane and back the other way, Chesney Miller returns the favor as she steals the ball away from Dara Strasser. Ooh, yeah, I think the crowd saw that too. Looked like maybe an extra step. McCarter kicks it over to Strasser. Clevenger, baseline, almost gets it to go. She's going to go to the free throw line. One of one from the free throw line. She completed a three-point play early in the ballgame. And that foul is on Craig, her second. So you got uh, Siders and Craig with two and Jimenez with three. First half fouls for Tippecanoe Valley. And the bank is open here in the Saturday evening time for Riley Clevenger. Have to call up Tanner Lee and let him know to open the doors there. Second one is off the back iron, and Craig gets the rebound for the Vikings. Quickly ahead, Snyder kicks it out, and Craig's shot off the mark. Loose ball on the floor. Chesney Miller comes away with the ball and puts it in for two. A little bit of a scoring drought there for the Vikings, but they put it in, and that is a 15-point advantage under a minute to go here in the first half. Nice pass into Bollinger. She's going to go to the free throw line. Shooting two. Lady Viking foul, 24, Snyder, her first, team's 10. First foul on Carly Snyder for the Vikings. Audrey Bollinger at the free throw line, shooting two. Good on the first. She's hit the front end of the shot every time she's been to the free throw line. This is her third trip. See if she can convert on the second one. And boy, that thing was going in too. Doggone it. She, uh, I think it felt wrong off her hand and she was trying to get there and get that rebound, but she went over the line too soon. So the shot does not count for Audrey. Twenty-six thirteen with 45 seconds to go here in the first half. That one is in and out for Craig, but she gets the offensive glass. Or that was Buzzard, sorry. 14. Craig's 12, sorry. Into Bollinger. I think that uh, Snyder might have got a piece of that. I'm going to say it was last touch by the Zebras, so it'll be Valley with the ball with 15.9 to go here in the first half. Siders brings it across. Get it into Snyder. And the three-pointer at the buzzard. Bailey buzzard. Puts it in, and at the half, it is the Vikings 31 and the Zebras 13. Here from Rochester, JV contest. We'll take a break. Come back and give you some halftime stats. And get ready for the second half of action here from Rochester High School in just a moment here on RTC TV4. And it will be the Vikings here with the ball as we start the second half. Both teams with their starting lineups back in. Siders, Craig, Bussard, Smith, and Snyder. For the Vikings, Clevenger, Strasser, McCarter, Bullinger, and Hadeshell starting the second half for the Zebras. 
Young goes out of bounds. Turnover gives the ball back to Rochester. See if they can get something going here on the offensive end. Did not score a field goal in the second half. All four of their points came from the free throw line. Good screen there from Bullinger. Almost taken away from Hadeshell by Craig. And Hadeshell drives it all the way into the paint and gets the foul. And that is number three on Craig. Lady Viking shooting foul, number 12, Craig, her third. Hadeshell shooting two. Mia Hadeshell yet to get on the scoreboard here for the Zebras. Has her first attempt from the free throw line. And that one rims in and out for the freshman Hadeshell. I check that. I guess I had that wrong. Buzzard was out to start. One of two for Hadeshell. Offensive rebound, put back, attempt, no good, but the foul coming on Rochester. Zebra foul, number 25, Bollinger, her first. At the line, Macy Peterson. That was number 20, Macy Peterson. She was in the game coming out of the half. First time in for Macy. Off on the first free throw. This is both free throws. Clock issue, so they were calling the referee over to talk it over. So I'm going to set the clock at 5:45. And it will be the Vikings ball here as play resumes. Double dribble. Yeah, I was wondering if they were going to see that. Turnover for the Vikings, second of the quarter. Only their seventh of the game. Clevenger is going to pull up. Three-pointer, Riley Clevenger. Left wing three is good. For the Zebras, that is their first field goal since the first quarter. Jump ball position, Zebras. Excuse me, there's a foul call. Number 10, Siders, third third. 
That's going to be the third on Siders. So Valley has three girls with three fouls. Siders, Craig, and Jimenez all have three fouls with five minutes to go here in the third quarter. And that one is blocked, but it's going to be a foul coming on Snyder, and that is her second. Now we'll put Audrey Bollinger at the free throw line, shooting two for the Zebras. Three of six for Bollinger. Misses the first. Bowling her off on both that time. Smith and her pass goes right through the hands of Buzzard out of bounds. Another turnover for the Vikings, third of the quarter. Rochester not out of this. They only trail by 14 here with 423 still to go in the third quarter. Just need to keep getting some stops and some points. Long three off the mark for Clevenger and Peterson. Back here at Rochester High School, 411 to go in the third quarter. It'll be Valley Ball coming out of the time out. Vikings lead 31-17. Valley has not scored here in the second half. Zebras have uh, scored four to cut into that lead. It's a 14-point Valley advantage. Yeah, I guess we're down here with the ball. Sorry. So now Rochester going to pick up a little full court pressure here on the Vikings. Trap there by Strasser and Clevenger. Shot is short, and McCarter gets the rebound, but that one is taken away by Smith. <coughs> and the shot is off, and it's going to go out of bounds. Last touch by the Vikings. Clevenger in. Bollinger gets called for the travel. I don't know. I mean, she's done that move all year long, and up until the last game, nobody called it a travel. And now all of a sudden it's a travel, so. And back the other way, traveling called on the Vikings turnover. Number four here in the quarter for Tippecanoe Valley. Vikings still have yet to get on the scoreboard here in the second half. Kicked out of bounds by the Vikings. Get it in just in front of the time, and that was tipped out by Siders. Blowing her over to Strasser. And her pass is picked off by Siders. Siders against Bullinger. And Bollinger is going to get called on the foul. That will be, no, gosh, that's her first. Only one foul on the uh, Zebras. Derek Strasser has one foul. That's it. Okay, I must have missed one. They're saying that was her second foul. So Bollinger has two. Siders converts the first. That's the first points of the second half for the Vikings. 
Makes two of two from the free throw line. And the lead is back up to 18 for Valley. Carter drives baseline. Tries to reverse it back out. It was tipped or uh, knocked down by Siders. Clevenger able to come up with that ball. And Carter back over to Clevenger. How to shell baseline three is off the mark. Strasser chases down the rebound. Kicks it out. McCarter three. Good. Ella McCarter for three. And quickly down the other way, Smith puts it in for two. I'd like to see McCarter get going here. She puts him in. She can start going. She can score in a hurry. Got a great outside shot. Just uh, been struggling a little bit with it here this, this year. Shot fake pulls up from 15. Boy, that looked good. Bullinger, ball tipped around. And then it comes down to Peterson. Siders brings it across, goes behind the back, sets up the offense for the Vikings. Oh, give your baseline. Nice move there by Smith. She got baseline, and she took it in and got fouled, and she's going to go to the free throw line, shoot two. Zebra shooting time, 25, Bollinger, her third. That's going to be Audrey Bollinger's third foul. Yeah, man, that was a beautiful looking free throw there by Smith. Can't do it any better than that. And 2-4-2. Two, two. She's got four points all here in the third quarter for the Vikings. And it's a 17-point lead. 37-20. Turn around in the paint. Good. Audrey Bullinger for two. And a travel turnover caused by the defense of the Zebras. The Lady Vikings calling 30 second timeout. 30 second timeout called by Tippecanoe Valley with a minute 41 left here in the third quarter. Vikings lead 37 22. The Zebras have some life here in the third quarter, though. Have cut into uh, the lead by three points as they've outscored the Vikings 9-6 here in the quarter. Still got a long way to go, but if they can keep chipping away at it, they still have plenty of time to go with a minute 41 yet here in the third quarter. Zebras have the ball on the far sideline. Out of shell will inbounds. Gets it into Dara Strasser. Strasser all the way to the rim. Got it. What a move by Dara Strasser. And a turnover. McCarter comes up with the loose ball. And a nice pass ahead to Bullinger. What a pass from Dara, uh, Ella McCarter to Bullinger. Let's take another look at that play. The steal and the assist from McCarter, and just like that, four straight points, and it's down to 11. Talk about having uh, some momentum. We'll be back here in a moment on RTC TV. Four. Back here in Rochester, four straight points, a driving bucket by Strasser, a steal by McCarter, and an assist to Audrey Bullinger from McCarter. And just like that, it is an 11-point lead. For the Vikings, 37-26 as the Zebras have chipped away here in the third quarter. Some full court pressure coming out of the timeout by Rochester. And a turnover. So the Zebras picking up the pressure here on defense. <coughs> Two straight turnovers caused by the defensive pressure by the Zebras. 
See if they can continue here getting some points. Oh, open three-pointer for Clevenger. Off the mark. Thought that was going in. And stepping on the line is Peterson. So eight turnovers here in the quarter for the Valley Vikings. They're giving some room here. Clevenger. Oh, I want to see how she'll take that shot. Drives in. Shot off the mark. Bullinger offensive glass. No good. Bullinger fighting for it. And what do we got? A foul on the Vikings. That's going to be on Snyder. That will be her third. So four Vikings with still a minute to go here in the quarter with three fouls. How to shell, three-pointer, baseline, no good. It's going to be tipped out by the Vikings. Good work there by Audrey Bollinger on the offensive glass. Clevenger back to How to Shell. 10 footer Bollinger off the mark. That ball almost turned over. Siders all the way to the rim. Shot off the mark. Loose ball on the floor. And it's going to be a jump ball, and that will be Rochester with the possession. Oh, Strasser, nice drive on the baseline. Two points for Dara Strasser. Shot off the mark, rebound. And jump ball would be for the Vikings. It is under 10 points now. Nine-point lead for the Vikings. First time in a long time that it's been this close. Shot off the mark. Bollinger comes up with the rebound. <coughs> and Audrey not able to clear that one out in time, and it's going to be a jump ball. That will stay Rochester. Jimenez comes back into the game for Peterson. She has, uh, Jimenez has three fouls for the Vikings here. We're getting late enough in the game. I think it's okay with the three. Nice shot fake by McCarter. Shot off the mark. And a quick jump ball. That one will go to the Vikings. Rochester will pick up full court. Pressure has been very effective for the Zebras. And that shot no good. What a third quarter for the Rochester Zebras at the end of three. Sorry, I don't even have that right. It's 37-28 after three here at Rochester. We'll take a break. Come back with fourth quarter action here in the JV contest in just a moment on RTC TV4. Substitution for Tippecanoe Valley, returning to the course, number 12, Lydia Craig. Rochester outscored Valley 15 to 6 in the third quarter. Clevenger had three, Strasser had four. McCarter had three, and Bullinger had four, and Hattishell had one in that quarter for the Zebras. Clevenger leads the way for the Zebras with 10 points through three quarters. It's going to be the Zebras' ball here to start the uh, fourth quarter. Trailing by nine, but that's uh, much better shape than they were in at the end of the second quarter. That one poked away by Craig. Valley had an 18-point lead at the half, so Rochester able to cut that lead in half and see what they can do here in the fourth quarter. 
Carter, three ball, long. Jimenez with the rebound for the Vikings. Three-pointer off the mark by Buzzard. And Bollinger able to track down that loose ball. Clevenger quickly across the timeline for the Zebras. How to shell cutting Bollinger. Good defense by Jimenez. Loose ball batted around. And Strasser is going to tie it up. It will be the Vikings with the possession. Good job there by Strasser and Buzzard. Peterson checks back into the game for the Vikings. Strasser almost comes up with that turnover. Craig almost lost it on the uh, timeline as well. Trying to get it inside, and Bullinger is going to get called for the foul, her fourth. She has been so instrumental in this comeback for the Zebras. They can't afford to lose her. And Jimenez right away going after her. Loose ball. Jimenez down on the floor. And Strasser comes up with it temporarily and loses her footing. And the Vikings come back and get it. Buzzard, Buzzard with a two-pointer. Bollinger kicks it out. McCarter, three ball, long. Rebound, Strasser. Her attempt to put it in is no good. Peterson comes out with the ball. Peterson from the free throw line, and a charge called on Peterson. That was gutsy there by Bollinger. She has four fouls, and she takes the charge. That is Peterson's first foul. Keaton Doran into the game for Rochester. Well, they're saying it is on uh, Jimenez, but that should have been Peterson. She had the ball. I can show them the tape. Correction, Tiffany Valley foul, number 20, Peterson, her first. So they get it fixed. It was on Peterson. That was her first. Five minutes to go. Zebras trailing by 11, have the ball. away. Clevenger can't come away with it and it goes right into the hands of Snyder for two. Looked like the Zebras were going to get the turnover. Snyder with her first points. Out of shell. Comes back the other way. Puts in a three ball. Jimenez misses the shot. Gets her rebound. And a jump will be Rochester, I believe. Hadashell is another one of those that if she gets going, she can put in a lot of buckets in a hurry as well. 
So maybe that's a good sign there. Uh, cuts it to a 10-point lead for Valley. The runner from Clevenger, no good. Poked away. And coming up with the ball is Snyder for the Vikings. And a foul coming up on Keaton Doran. Her first. Zebra shooting foul, 35, Keaton Doran, her first. Team step. Carly Snyder. That will put Snyder at the free throw line. She's got 12 points, but this is her first trip to the free throw line. Back iron and down for Snyder. 12 point lead for the Vikings. Well, bowling her back in after a brief rest. She does have four fouls. Second free throw for Snyder. Back iron and down. <laughs> Very consistent. You can tell her, uh, say that about it. 12 point lead for the Vikings. Runner almost got that to go. And they're going to say last touch by Bollinger. That was a uh, kind of a circus shot there by Strasser. Almost got that to uh, to drop. That would have been a big one for the Zebras. Full court pressure. Snyder might have gotten away with an extra step there. The crowd at least wanted that call. McCarter, and last touch by the Vikings off of Peterson. Great defense by Ella McCarter. Strasser picks up her dribble, gives it over to Mia Howdeshell. Howdeshell, whoa, crossover Howdeshell into Bullinger. That was a beaut from uh, Howdeshell there. A little Euro step layup, no good for Craig. And out of bounds off the Vikings. Zebras keep getting some opportunities here, but they've got to capitalize on the offensive end. Strasser all the way in. That one's blocked by Snyder. And they're going to say, I believe, that'll be the fourth on Jimenez. Viking shooting foul, number 30, Jimenez for fourth. So shooting two. Jimenez and Bullinger both have four fouls out on the floor. Dara Strasser at the free throw line for the Zebras. Strasser is one of two from the line. Make that two of three. Cuts it to an 11-point Viking lead with two and a half minutes to go here in the ballgame. Second free throw for the freshman. Strasser off the front iron. How to shell. Almost got it. Tipped out. McCarter. Jimenez able to come away with it. Siders is just going to uh, calm down here and reset the offense. Maybe. Good defense there by Strasser. And uh, Valley coach wants a timeout with 2.09 to go. 30-second timeout. timeout called by the Vikings, so we'll keep it here. 2.09 to go in the fourth quarter. The Zebras lead by 11.43, or the uh, Vikings lead by 11.43, 32. So far here in the fourth quarter, Valley has outscored Rochester 6-4. to four. Bussard with two. Snyder has four. She has a field goal and two for two from the free throw line. Bollinger has four fouls for the Zebras. Jimenez has four fouls for the Vikings. Snyder has three. Craig has three. And Siders has three as well for Valley. Jimenez to trigger the inbounds on the far sideline. And a tie-up. 
And I didn't switch that, so it's uh, actually Valley's ball. We'll get it on the next one. Peterson with McCarter guarding her. Gets it up to Craig. Strasser picks up Craig. Now they're going to switch. Strasser, they've got her trapped up top. And a good job there by Siders, able to get it out of the trap. Bollinger's got to be careful. She's got four. Jimenez, not sure what she did there. And the bucket is good for Snyder and one coming up. Foul on Riley Clevenger is her first. Both teams have six team fouls, so next foul will put the other team in the one and the bonus. Not able to put it in, but the offensive glass by Peterson and the second opportunity by Snyder, and she's going to go to the free throw line shooting two shots. Zebra shooting foul, 25, Bollinger, perfect. And that will do it for Audrey Bollinger. That is her fifth foul. She's going to foul out of the game with a minute 40. Lily Watson will check into the game. Snyder is off on the first free throw. Misses the second, and Strasser gets the rebound off the missed free throw. Carter tries to get in into Watson, tipped away by Jimenez, but right into the hands of Strasser. Strasser back to McCarter, three ball off the mark. Peterson with the weak side rebound for the Vikings. Well, it was a valiant comeback effort trailing by 18 at the half. The Zebras got it back down to nine, but we're not able to get it any closer than that. It's a 13 point lead with a minute eight to go here for the Valley Vikings. And JV contest looks to go to Valley. And uh, Clevenger with an offensive rebound in among the trees. And she's going to get two free throws for her efforts. It's going to be the fourth on Snyder. Two of three for Riley Clevenger from the free throw line here this evening. Off the back iron, off the front iron, off the back iron, and out. Second is good for Clevenger. Receivers call a 30 second timeout. And Coach Bowers will take a 30 second timeout. Minute one to go, trailing 45 33. Breaks the press. Jimenez gets it across. Poked away by McCarter. See what the call is here. Is it a jump? jump ball. It is. 
So turnover back to Rochester. Three-pointer goes off of the stanchion, so it's going to be out of bounds back over to Valley. 44.8 to go. Jimenez picks it up right across the timeline. Fortunately able to get it over to Craig, and Craig's going to get fouled. It's going to be Ella McCarter, her first. Eighth team foul on the Zebras. That will put Lydia Craig at the free throw line. Shooting one and the bonus, her first trip to the free throw line here this evening. Off the back iron, no good, but the ball's tipped right back to Craig. And another foul coming up on Rochester, and she'll go back to the free throw line. Zebra foul, number 10, Strasser, her second. Team's nine. Craig back up. There, Strasser picks up the foul. Another opportunity here for Craig from the free throw line. No good on that one, but Jimenez gets another offensive rebound. Offensive rebounds. Valley has gotten a lot of them, and the Zebras have given up a lot of them. Three-pointer, and that's going to be a foul on Watson on the three-pointer. Siders is going to get three free throws here for the Vikings. Two of two from the free throw line here this evening. Oh, I guess check that. They're giving her two free throws, and they're saying it was on the floor. Okay. Misses them both, and the theme of the evening, an offensive rebound by Jimenez. Tie up, and that will be Valley's ball. And inside, nice pass on the inbounds to Snyder. And she's going to be fouled by Houdeshell. That is Houdeshell's first. Snyder going to the free throw line. Snyder, two of seven from the free throw line with that miss. Almost another offensive rebound for the Vikings. Just goes out of bounds off of Valley. And that time it does go off of the Zebras. So they give it back over with nine seconds to go. Zebra foul, number 40, Hadeshell for second. Hadeshell with another foul. And it puts Snyder back to the free throw line. And off the front iron and in. Seventeen for Snyder in the game. Oh 
And that is going to do it here for the JV contest. The final score, Valley 46, Rochester 33.
Of the day, we're playing a great rivalry game, and uh, kudos to both communities to be able to pull this off, and best of luck to both teams. We're ready to go. The both teams now on the floor. Jumping today, tonight for the Zebras will be uh, number five, Lexi Thomas, and Corinna Stiles, the six-foot junior, jumping for Tiffany Valley. Randy Wynn, Tony Stasiak, glad you could join us here on Giant FM and RTC4. The ball is in the air, and we're ready to go. It's going to be controlled by the Vikings, and they'll have it with Malat. Malat will hand it off to Moriarty. She'll walk it across the timeline. Moriarty looking to come to her right. Now she picks up her dribble. She's got to go left now, side to snap. Now back to Malat. Excuse me, Moriarty, top of the key. Moriarty against Burkett. Burkett drawing a tough defense and doing a great job. Ball's knocked loose by Thomas, picked up by Watson. Watson down the sideline, picks up her dribble, gives it off to Lexi. She goes right to the hole, throws up a shot, no good. And the rebound is coming away to Snap. Snap has it and gives it back over now to Moriarty. 35 seconds gone by, we're still at zeros. Moriarty goes left. Burkett against her, now down in the corner to Alt. Alt against Watson. Goes baseline. Travels no call. Throws up a shot. No good. Rebound comes away to Valley. Goes up. And we're going to have a jump ball. It'll go Zebras. <laughs> nice It'll, job on the defensive side there for the Zebras. Yeah. And I, I like what I'm seeing from the officials. Yeah. Letting them play a little bit. That's Let the kids play. It's always good to see a little bit as long as it's under control. And let kind of both teams kind of be aggressive and get the get the energy out a little bit. Good to see it as the Zebras are going to have to face a trap probably most of the night. Valley in a 1-2-2. Thomas loses the basketball. It's down on the floor, and we're going to have another jump ball to go back to Valley. That 1-2-1-1 one, two, one, two, one, one trap for Timmy Valley, and yeah. uh, Zebras got to get somebody in the middle. Well, right. you know, we've talked about that a lot. They, they tend to forget that, get that middle person. Right, and, the, and they handled Logan Sports pressure decently the other yeah. night and we're able to stretch a 10-point lead into a 19-point lead because of it. Valley with the basketball now gives off to Styles. Styles backs Lexi Thomas down and she's double teamed by Burkett. They get it out to Moriarty. Moriarty three ball. It's good. 3-0 to the Valley with 6.35 to go here on the scoreboard brought to you tonight by Rochester Glass. Thomas with it in the backcourt. Thomas has it. Thomas gets it to the score zone. Now ahead to Watson. Watson down in the corner. Now the score zone. Score zone. Over the top, and it goes to Burkett as it almost goes across the timeline, but Burkett saves it. Burkett kicks it out to Watson. Watson has it. Watson's going to be double teamed. She gets it off to Burkett. Burkett tries to go to score zone. It's going to throw it in the backcourt, and it'll roll it all the, the way to the end, and Lexi Thomas will finally stop it. It'll be Valley, Valley basketball underneath the basket, baseline right. Tough spot for Watson, the shortest player on the yeah. floor to, to be put in a corner where she can be easily trapped by both Valley players. That's not probably a great offensive strategy, uh, and she needs to stay out of there if possible. Styles goes right to the hole, going to be stripped by Thomas. Nice job by score zone to just slide over and slow uh, Styles down, and Lexi came from behind and just stripped it. 3 nothing with 5.45 to go here in the opening quarter. Here's score zone, free throw line jumper, no good. Burkett skies for the rebound, it's knocked loose, ball is on the floor, and it's going to be Valley basketball. But right back into the hands of score zone to Thomas, up off the glass, and good. It's those 50-50 balls we talk about all the time. Right now, Zebra's getting aggressive and yeah. going on the floor. The tip of the Captain Millie score zone. She's taking some tough shots, but it, rather than take a tough shot, she kind of handed it off to Thomas, who had a better angle to make a, a, a shot from the left layup. Now, Malott with the basketball. She gives it off to Styles. 5-12 here in the first quarter. 3-2 Valley. Styles will go to the baseline. She kicks it out to Malott. Three on the way for her. No good. Styles with the rebound. Styles in his double team, and she has to kick it back out. She does give it to Malott. Malott gives it off to Moriarty, throws it away, and it's last touch by the Zebras. It'll stay with Tiffany Valley on the far side. 4.56 to go here in the opening quarter, 3-2. Tiffany Valley on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Even in the half court, both teams very aggressive, looking to get in the passing lanes, trying to get deflections and steals. Nobody's sitting back and packing anything, and they're trying to get some turnovers. Moriarty up top. She gives it off to Styles. Styles at the elbow, hands it off to Malott. Now she'll kick it out to Alt. Oh, dribbles down in the corner. She's double teamed the give and go to snap, and it's up and good to foul. Got the screen, and over the top they went. And coming into the contest will be Riley Holloway. She'll replace Watson. 
with 4.41 to go here in the opening quarter, 5-2 to two Valley. That's the first foul on Thomas. Obviously, anytime any key player on either team gets that first foul in the first quarter, the next thing is be careful. You cannot pick up that second one, especially right away. Snap to complete the three-point play, and she does. 6-2, Tipping New Valley now with 4.40 to go here in the first. Rainy win, Tony Stasiak, glad you could join us. 1-2-2-4, two, two, one, two, one, one for the Vikings. Zebras have it. They're going to have to hurry. Thomas, and there it is. Taking too long and not moving. Everybody's kind of just standing still. Right, well, the, there's a middle, but the middle person is behind the defense. Yeah. So you got to get in front of that middle layer as a defender to be an option because they're not going to get you the ball if there's a defender right in front of you. Burkett strips it for Moriarty. Burkett quickly ahead to score zone. She's going to have to grab it as it went wide for the throw. Score zone kicks it back to Burkett. Three on the way for Cami. In and out, no good. Ball stepped around. Thomas with a rebound. Thomas back up. No good, but a foul coming. Foul was on Styles, her first, team's first. So each key post player for the respective team has one foul. I think you'll probably see both teams try to go inside for that reason. Not only is it their main scoring source, but to try to get the other team in foul trouble. Lexi Thomas misses the first free throw. Coming in yeah. will be Chesney Miller for Tipigano Valley. She'll replace Alt. That free throw bugaboo, right? It's been okay yeah. in some games, but overall in the season, it's about 51%. And that's not a good number, right? No. And you don't want, at some point, you keep shooting that way, and it's going to bite you when it really counts. And hopefully, that's not tonight. Thomas makes the second one, and she'll come out. Jackson will come in for her. 6 3 with 4 13 to go here in the first. Good sub by Coach Jennings. Yeah. You know, Lexi's really excited. It's her senior year, it's her last Valley game. She got that quick foul. She's also playing well. Get Jackson in right now, be able to rotate Jackson, Thomas, and score zone into those two post spots. Coach Jennings got a nice rotation there. Burkett giving Moriarty fix. Moriarty goes to the hole, swatted by score zone, out of bounds. It'll stay with Tipping Valley. Nice defense that time by Millie. I also like the matchup of Hawes on Malat. She's just a smart defender, knows yeah. her assignment. Going to make life difficult because Malat loves to shoot the three. Styles with the basketball, almost stolen by Jackson. It's loose on the floor, picked up by the Zebras. And then a foul coming yeah. against Tippy Valley. Nice hustle to Zebras. That ball goes on the floor, and you see two, three Zebras diving for it. Something you haven't seen a whole lot this year, so it's well, great to see. In this rivalry, I mean, you saw it last night. You see it in JV games. You see it in middle <laughs> school games. When it's, when it's the green and gold against the black and gold, it's amazing some of these kids uh, you haven't seen a motion from, and they'll get on the floor and do a lot of different things. Jackson will break the press herself. Jackson kicks it out to Hawes in the corner. Hawes to Holloway. Holloway out. on the wing. Now it gives it over to Burkett. Burkett on the right wing. Penetrates. Picks it up. Kicks it out to Hawes. Hawes, three on the way for Sinko. Oh, and we're tied at 6, 325 to go here in the opening quarter. And you can space the floor, and you got Holloway on one side and Hawes on the other. And the two posts inside, that's tough to defend because you got to get both sides of the floor. Snap back to you, Moriarty. Moriarty in the corner. Moriarty drives the baseline, throws up a shot, going to be rebounded by Burkett. Score zone being really smart. She's deflecting shots, but she's not lowering yeah. her hand. She's just walling up and still getting her deflections. Jackson, free throw line jumper on the way. Off the mark, no good. Rebound comes away to Tippy Valley. On the run is Malat. Malat with it. Malat turns around, kicks it out to Moriarty. Three on the way for her. Air ball. Go out of bounds. Zebra basketball. Watson will come in for Burkett. See, that's the other nice thing you've got. When you bring everybody back, you have a nice rotation. You, know, you talked a little bit in the pregame. Mm -hmm. You know, you brought Thomas. You started Thomas in score zone. You got Jackson in. Thomas will probably come in for Millie here shortly. Yep. Now you've got your guard rotation, and you can yep. keep everybody fresh. And you still got a little eat in there, too. And down low is score zone. Nice pass by Watson. Score zone comes up a little bit short, and it comes away to uh, Tippy Valley. 6-6 six, six with 2.35 to go here in the first. Great job, though, breaking the press. They got the layup they wanted. Millie just rushed a little bit, but they did a good job of breaking that pressure. Malat, she'll go baseline and throw up a shot. No good. Rebound comes away to the Zebras. Watson to bring it across the timeline. She'll go right down the middle. Watson goes to the hole, throws up a shot. No good. And it's going to be out of bounds to Zebras. It'll stay with them. Baseline. Let's see. They're going to go baseline right. Tipkin Valley wants a timeout. We'll see. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. Give me an opportunity to tell you about our fine sponsors tonight. Fulton, Culligan of Fulton County, Better Water, Pure and Simple. First Federal Savings Bank. They don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. 
Fulton County Best One Tire. The most important person to them is you. RTC Communications, phone, cable, and internet. Shepherd Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC of Rochester, where they always treat you like family. And by Fulton County REMC, making a better tomorrow since 1936. 2.17 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. We're tied at six between the Valley Vikings and the Rochester Zebras. It's been a pretty good quarter. And the, like you said earlier, Tony, the officials letting them play a little bit. And uh, it's something nice to see. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. The, the official, this is the sport yeah. where the official's whistle does <laughs> determines who plays. It determines your strategy. And so far, both ways. Uh, yeah. The stripes have let them play, and I think that's good to see because people don't come here to watch a lot of fouls and a lot of whistles, and, and they're letting the girls make aggressive plays, but the game is still under control. It's not too rough. 2.17 to go. They get it into Jackson. Jackson off the inbound, throws up a shot, bounces out, and last touch by the Zebras. It'll be Valley basketball. And the other piece with that is they're making girls make aggressive moves. Right. Sometimes yeah. boys or girls, you hate to see you know somebody just makes a flail. It's not an aggressive move. They've made the point you're going to have to make an aggressive move. We're not going to bail you out, so you better go strong or don't expect our whistle to help you. Moriarty down deep, throws it back to Snap. Snap has it top of the key. Snap, picks up her dribble. Now it goes off to Malott. Ball's tipped by the Zebras. Malott picks it back up. Pause on Malott. She goes to Styles. Styles has it. One dribble. Picks up her. Now goes to Malott. Malott penetrates in. And oh my a foul gosh. coming just as we talk about it. And score zone goes straight up and picks up a quick foul. Wow. He's going to be the, the official so confused on even who it Feels was. Feels like. Yeah. You always wonder, you got to check the number of the player. Did you really see it? <laughs> yeah. So Malat will go to the line to shoot two. <laughs> and the first one is short off the front of the iron. Lexi Thomas in and scores on. will sit down. Six to six with a minute 47 to go here in the opening quarter. Randy Wynn, Tony Stasiak. Glad you could join us here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Busy week next week. We'll talk more about that coming up throughout the night. First, or second free throw is good for Malat. She breaks the tie, 7-6 now, Tibby Valley. Jackson has it. She gets it off to Hawes. Hawes back to Jackson. Jackson trying to split the defense and loses yeah. the basketball. Picked up by Valley. Quickly ahead to Malat. Layup up and good. That's the thing. Jackson's been able to dribble and be aggressive, and we appreciate that, but it's hard to dribble through three players on the press. They go cross court to Thomas. She gets it across the timeline. Now she hands it off to Watson, and she'll set the Zebra offense with a minute 20 to go. Down three, nine, six. Valley leads. And Hawes, cross court pass to Watson. Goes inside to Thomas, tipped away, picked up by Holloway. Riley Holloway with the basketball. Holloway to Jackson at the elbow. Jackson tries to go down low to Thomas, and Valley steps right in and steals the pass. Moriarty with the basketball. Quickly ahead to Malott. Malott drives left. Throws it down low to snap. Ball's loose. Hawes picks it up. 50 seconds to go here in the quarter. Hawes will bring it down. Off to Watson. Three on the way for Callie. Way off the mark. No good. And a rebound comes away to Styles. Moriarty and the Vikings will walk it across the timeline with 35. Moriarty goes to her right. Right in front of Coach Jennings. Now goes to the hole. Kicks it back out. Three on the way for Styles. Good. Well, four of the five starters for Valley have scored. If you're a Valley fan, you got to like that balance. Six-point Valley lead, 19 seconds to go. Hawes has it, now gives it off to Watson. Top the key to Jackson, goes through her hand. She's going to have to hurry, and it's going to be kicked, picked up by, that's Miller. Miller goes to Moriarty, and uh, she's going to be fouled, and she'll go to the line. All of a sudden, the last minute here, the Zebras got sloppy. Yeah, and that's a play where, in this rivalry, you can't go to a ball and bend down and hope to pick it up. You better get on the floor. And the old coaching adage, first to the floor usually wins, and that Valley player dove, and the Rochester player did not, and Valley came up with the ball. And then basketball gods tend to reward hustle, and <laughs> Valley picked up an, a foul as well as Jackson gets her first. Burkett will come in. Hawes will get a, a breather as we get ready to head to the second quarter. First free throw is good for Moriarty. Free throw. Good for Moriarty. And the sloppiness is also costing yeah. the Lady Zebras. All of a sudden, they're down eight. They were just down three a moment ago, and three turnovers, seconds. bad shots. Zebras aren't going to get a shot off, and that's going to do it for the quarter. 
At the end of one, it's tipping the Valley 14, the Zebra 6. Back with the second quarter after this, you're listening to High School Girls Basketball, Giant FM and RTC TV 4. Back here at Rochester High School, getting ready to hit in the second quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. It's 14 to six. Tippecanoe Valley leads, and the Zebras will have the ball to start the quarter. I don't think either team has done anything that surprised the other. It's just the uh, Lady Zebras got sloppy at the end of that first quarter. The fouls them out. Valley ended up going four for five from the free throw line. That'll make a difference right yeah. there in that first quarter. Yep. Burkett with it, off to Holloway. Her first three of the night is short in front of the iron, but Burkett gets the rebound. She'll kick it back out to Holloway, and the ball's loose. So it's kind of a short pass from Cammy back out to Holloway, and they tie it up. It'll be alternating possession. It'll go to Tippecanoe Valley. Cammy probably should have just went right back up with it, might have drawn a foul. Val says seven turnovers for each team. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those, one one of those, those kind of nights. Yeah. <laughs> 7.35 here in the first half. And make it eight for Tippy Valley as they turn it over again. Picked up by Holloway. Sid gets it in to Watson. Watson with it. Watson guarded by Moriarty. Watson comes around the screen. Watson picks up her dribble. Now gives it off to Sid. Sid has it. Sid dribbles back around. Sid goes to the block. Up yeah. good. Nice move by Sid Hawes. Aggressive move right to the hole. Lays that up. It's 14-8. Valley on top on the Rochester glass scoreboard. Yeah, the post player snap was on, on the top of the zone or just switching screens, and I'll take that matchup. Sid Hall's going to the rim, did exactly what you should do when you get a big post player on you. Vikings with the basketball down, you know, Styles. Now they swing it to Moriarty. Moriarty penetrates, throws up a shot. No good. Rebound tipped around, and Jackson comes away with it. Good defense by Thomas, knowing she's got one foul. That senior leader just kind of walled up and maybe tried to take a charge, but didn't try to jump to block the shot. Jackson again, snap. Jackson dribbles her down, throws up and running jumper, turns around off the glass. Good. 14 to 10. All of a sudden, Zebra is starting to feel a little momentum swing. Yeah, a couple good possessions on offense and a couple stops on defense, and now you're right back in it. Moriarty with the basketball, goes to snap. Snap, trying to go down low, deflected by Thomas. Ball's loose, picked up by Jackson. Jackson's going to be fouled. <laughs> As, they, as uh, Miller goes by and tries to slap at it and slaps Jackson on the wrist, Miller scores zone will come in for Kennedy Jackson, give her a breather. It's a double whammy. You make a foul, and then you try to make up for it coming down the other end, and you pick up a nickel dimer, and uh, Zebras make a substitution. Millie comes back in for Jackson. Got Great. Good minutes by Jackson. Yeah, you got a fresh Millie score zone in there now against Snap. Watson with the basketball, kicks it out to Holloway. Holloway left wing, goes cross court, pass to Haas. Down low to Thomas. Pass. Thomas, turn around, goes up, no good. Rebound, Millie scores own. Millie has it. Millie then is going to be fouled and will be out of bounds to the Zebras. Nice job by Millie. She held it tight and held on to it, and she got slapped. And another foul on Tippy Valley. Well, the other good piece of that is not just holding it tight, but moving with the ball, yeah. using that pivot foot so she could not get tied up by the Valley players and then keeping her composure, not just throwing it up. Into Thomas. Thomas goes up strong this time and gets fouled. She'll go back to the line for two free throws. I think the difference between that play and the one right before that that Thomas put up was her aggressiveness. She kind of just faded into that last one, didn't get it. That one, she went up stronger and into it and uh, didn't expect the, the contact, just initiated. Right. If you go, uh, if it's a strong move and there's yeah. contact, they're going to call that. Thomas has got to get the free throws figured out. This is that one. 14 to 10. She's got one more and has a chance to cut it down to three. I mean, the way she's trending, you know, as much as she gets to the free throw line, uh, you know, at 70% number is usually what we talk about. Second one, rims out, no good. Snap with a rebound. That's one for four. 5.50 to go here in the first half. Malot, or excuse me, Moriarty with the basketball. Moriarty comes to the near side. She gets the handoff from uh, Styles, stolen by the Zebras. Holloway with the steal. Gives it off to Watson. Five and a half to go here in the second. 14 to 10, Valley on top. 
Thomas sets the screen for Watson. Watson goes to the right. Watson has it knocked loose from by Styles. It'll stay with the Zebras on the far side. See if the Zebras can continue to work those ball screens. Valley seems content to switch those, which could lead you to some mismatches. Yeah. If you're kind of careful and you're kind of patient with it, you get the matchup you want either outside or inside. Holloway in the corner, tries to go over the top of Styles, can't do so, stolen by Styles. Styles gives it off to Moriarty, quickly down the floor of the Vikings. Moriarty, travel no call, gives it off to Styles, three on the way, good. Her second three. Over the top to Hawes, she breaks the timeline. Sid with it, she's going to be double teamed and finally gets it off to Holloway. Go down low to score zone, stolen by Valley. With the skip pass is what the yeah. Lady Zebras at diagonal because they had four Valley players on one side of the floor. If you throw that skip pass, you got wide open shooters or post players on the other side. Miller top of the key for Valley. Miller comes to Moriarty on the front of the Zebra bench. Moriarty back to Styles. Styles against Thomas, gets help from score zone, but nobody helped to help. And snap, gets an easy layup. Well, you get caught because Hawes is chasing Milan, yeah. so she got caught betwixt in between. But ideally, you got to say take away the layup and then close out on the shooter. Moriarty coming over the top trying to steal the basketball. She's going to get whistled for the foul. And it'll be Zebra basketball right in front of the scoring table. Second on Moriarty, sixth on the team. So the Zebras will be shooting free throws the rest of the half. Even more motivation to continue to get to the rim, either drives or post feeds, but go strong. Not to, not to get bailed out by the official, but go strong and see if you can make some free throws. Eaton comes in for the first time here tonight, and she'll replace Holloway. Watson to Hawes, down low to score zone, down to the block to Thomas, throws off a shot too hard, gets her own rebound, gives it off to Eaton. Eaton down low, kicks it to Watson, swings the left side down Hawes. Sid, cross court pass to Eaton. Here's three on the way, Ooh. short. Kind of rushed that one, she wasn't quite ready, and it goes to Moriarty. Quickly ahead to Malott, to Styles, to Moriarty. Over the left side, now to Miller, and Miller travels. Valley's helping the Zebras as much as they can. Tough one, you know, you come into the game cold like Eaton does, and, you know, ideally you like to say, hey, get a couple touches, move the ball yeah. around before you get a shot. Uh, she's a good shooter, but sometimes you don't always necessarily want to shoot it on your first catch of the game. Over the top to Hawes. Hawes has the basketball. Hawes goes to Watson. It's almost stolen. Ball's knocked loose and picked up by Tippy Valley. Malott, or excuse me, Moriarty with it. Moriarty then throws it out of bounds. Turnover, Tippecanoe Valley. Well, you, good news, Cami Burkett just walked out of the training room on her own. And Coach Jennings wants a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll talk more about Cami coming up here in a minute. Right now, I want to take about Smith Farm Store, serving farm and home since 1971. Smith Sawyer Smith Insurance, insurance, bonds, and wealth management, Woodlawn Hospital, where care and compassion meet. Manitoba Moose Family Fun Center, 1107. Come out and enjoy family fun. Jennings Insurance in Argus and Rochester going beyond the expected for you. And by Fulton County Solid Waste District. Don't trash our future. Please recycle. Well, we do have some listeners, Tony. I want to give a shout-out to uh, Sea Chef tonight working at the fire station. Uh, they just texted me and said, is there a game tonight? They're listening. They don't even know what's going on. Probably because there's not much traffic around the area. That's good. Yeah, they're, they're sitting there watching. Yeah there's, yeah, there's not much going on. Well, we know we have a a watcher. A yeah, we got we got a few listeners. C shift at the fire department. Have a good night, guys. Three thirty-five to go here in the first half. Thomas will inbound again. Burkett walks out. She uh, walked out on her own. So we'll see uh, how long it is before Coach Jennings goes back to her. Pause with it to Watson. Watson squares up for a three off the mark. No good. Rebound comes away to Styles. Not Styles. bad looks. Yeah, you, you just can't buy a bucket. Sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> now to Alt. Alt has it top of the key. Alt against Watson. Alt goes around the right side. Alt all the way to the hole. Throws up a shot. No good. Scores on with a rebound. Millie gives it off to Watson. 3.05 to go here in the second quarter. Still 19-10. Valley on top. Scores on with it. Jackson getting ready to come in. Burkett will come back in at the next opportunity. That's a great sign. Yeah. Hawes has it. Oh, stop the key. Oh, yeah. to Eaton, to Watson. Watson in the corner. Now down low to Thomas. Thomas double team. She kicks it back out to Sid Hawes. 
Down right back low to nice. Jackson. Nice, Earth nice, scores nice. Zone to Thomas at the other block, and it's good. Uh, Millie scores zone is making excellent decisions out there. You know, not forcing it. That was a nice little post-to-post -post pass for a wide open layup as they doubled her and left Lexi Thomas open alone under the bucket. Down to a seven-point Valley lead. Snap with the basketball. Snap goes to the hole, throws up a shot, and... I think Thomas needed to fall down. Yeah. I think by not falling down, they call the block. I think if she falls down, maybe it's a charge. That's going to be her second. And with 2.22 to go, Snap will go back to the line to shoot two. The six-foot senior has two for Valley. First one on the way is no good. Jackson and Burkett in, and coming out will be Thomas and Watson. You don't like to see Thomas have two fouls, but her second one comes with 222. She's right. probably due for a rest anyways, but that does mean you got to be aware of your foul situation in the third quarter. Second free throw for Snap is good. 20 to 12. Watson, or excuse me, Eaton with it. Now to Jackson, to Eaton, back to Jackson. Jackson tries to go to the middle. Now they get it to Burkett, and no. Burkett won't get it. And Jackson just gets across the timeline. Three on the way for Hawes. On the way, no good. Jackson gets the rebound, goes back up, and no good. Wow. Ball's knocked loose, picked up by Miller. Miller and the Vikings. With two minutes to go. Eight-point lead. Miller, top the key. Now goes to Alt. Alt against Burkett. Burkett still got a little bit of a... A, a, a limp there a little bit to the side to side motion. Coach King Nick wants a 30 second timeout. I think that's about all the 30s tonight. We're getting them early. <laughs> Class Guy Memorial Hospital connecting you with excellent health care providers. Rochester Glass, locally owned and operated since 1956. Peterson Wagner and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. McDonald's, try DoorDash. You get five off of 15 for new customers with code TRY in CD. 151 to go in the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 20 to 12, Valley leads. Yeah, boy, one wish for Lady Zebras. They're getting some good inside looks, but just not using the glass is costing them. I mean, that's if it's a combination of ru rushing the shot, not knowing where they're at, thinking it might get blocked because there's some size from Valley, but whew, great shots. Yeah. Just use the glass, girls. I think that's, that's the key. I think that turns the offense around and Still, the passes against the press getting better, but you got to be a little bit sharper, a little bit crisper, meet your pass, and uh, Zebras trail by eight as a result. Vikings to inbound the pass. The ball, they get it into Styles, and Styles steps on the sideline and be a turnover valley. Presses on as again, it's a it's a nice one three one. Uh, kind of matches up a little bit. Zebras got to be keep spacing and get that middle person coming to the ball. Holloway has it slapped away, picked up by the Vikings. Miller with it. Miller, top of the key. Miller goes down low to Styles. She tries to go to the opposite side and stolen by Jackson. Jackson then will slow it down and wait on her teammates and gives it off to Burke. Corner. Burke it to Holloway. Three for Riley. No good. In and out. Great looking shot. And Styles comes away with it. Just can't get it. Take the, the lid off, right? Yep, yep. I mean, great. Halt. great. <laughs> Halt with the basketball for Vikings. Halt goes down low, and it's going to be kicked by the Zebras. It'll stay with Valley. Minute 10 to go before halftime, 20 to 12. Viking lead. Randy Wynn, Tony Stasiak coming up at the halftime. We'll have the Peterson, Wagner, and Hat Perkins. Or excuse me, it's the one eye Jacks halftime show. Basket's good by Snap, and she'll get fouled, and she'll go back to the line to shoot one. That fouls on Holloway, her first, team's fifth. Snap's already got eight points, been very active underneath, and that she's taking advantage of sort of not helping the help. They're getting it to one block, and she's open on the weak block as <laughs> she makes her free throw for her ninth point. 23 to 12. She's the difference in the ball game yep. right now. Yep. Burgett with the basketball. Burgett's going to have to hurry up, get it across. They do to Holloway finally. Holloway has it tipped from behind, and then it'll be Zebra basketball as Watson will come in with 58 seconds to go here before halftime. Burgett will come out. You know, when you're being pressed and trapped, if somebody's open ahead of you, make that pass. The pass is going to be faster than the dribble. You want to beat those defenders. Teammates open ahead of you, get it down the floor. Sid gets it into Watson. Downloaded Jackson and great pass, but just not the right angle. 
as Jackson was open, she went to lead her, but uh, yeah. Jackson had to go get it and, Instead and of couldn't get there. Jump stop and then throwing the bounce pass. She tried to throw the bounce pass and she was jump stopping and a little out of control. One more dribble or a little bounce stop, step and a pause, I think it's a better post speed. Three on the way for Valley, no good. Jackson comes down with the rebound. Jackson will push to Holloway. Holloway has it, traces it down in the corner. Ball's loose and picked up by Valley. Vikings have it. Here is Malott. Malott kicks it out to Miller. Miller on the floor, goes up hard against Jackson. No good, but a rebounding foul coming against Timmy Valley. And that will send Jackson to the line to shoot one in the bonus with 18.8 .8 seconds to go here before halftime. A foul on 32. Chesney Miller, her second, team seven. So Jackson will go to the line to shoot one and the bonus. Zebra's not shooting well so no. far tonight from the free throw line. Kennedy Jackson has an opportunity to hopefully change that right here with one and one. Valley is six of eight from the line, and the Zebras are now one, four, five. Misses that one. And Valley will have it with 12. Holt has it, and she's going to be fouled by Watson. And that's only going to be the team six, so it'll still be out of bounds. Valley won't, get, won't shoot on that foul. 23 to 12 with 11.1 seconds to go. Seems like a big possession. Yeah. You know, Rochester gets a stop or Valley gets a score. That's, that's going to be a huge momentum boost one way or another going in. Malott has it with nine. Malott against Hawes. Malott goes to the hole, throws up a shot. No good. The rebound comes away to Styles and travels. Yeah. And the Zebras will have the basketball with 2.4 seconds to go. Jackson will inbound. She gets it into Hawes, and that's going to do it for the... Huh. Oh. And they're going to call travel on Sid, and Valley will have it with .7. I think they're just going to run the clock out, but that's fine, but you can't walk with the ball. And the buzzer, that's going to do it. At halftime, Timothy Valley leads 23-12 to on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. When we come back, it'll be the One-Eyed Jacks halftime show. You're listening to Zebra Basketball here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. It's handled different ways. Second half is underway. Zebras have the basketball. It's Hawes, Watson, Thomas, Holloway, and score zone on the floor. Holloway throws up a running jumper. No good, and it's last touch by the Vikings. It'll stay with the Zebras underneath. Baseline left. 7.48 to go here in the third. 23-12 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. As we always say, you know, these first three minutes or so yeah. of coming out of halftime, you know, if you're a Valley fan, you can really put the hammer down, or a Zebra fan, you want to claw back into it. Holloway, three on the way for her. God! There you go. 23-15. That's a good start. That's a good start. That's what we like to see. Nice move at that time by the Zebras and found an open Holloway. And here goes Valley. It's Moriarty. Moriarty has the basketball. Going to Malat. Malat has it. Top the key. Malat's been pretty quiet. Hits it all. Doing a great job defensively against her. They go down to Malat at the block. Malat's got to get rid of it. She goes to Styles. Elbow jumper on the way. No good. A rebound. Tipped around. Comes away. Does score zone and a foul yep. coming on Tippy Valley. Yep. And Moriarty's going to get that one. And that's her third. So the first player in you know what you call significant foul trouble. Moriarty, uh, five points all in the first quarter, but that's her third foul. And that will bring in Miller, and sitting down will be Alt. TRC score from Val earlier, Southwood girls 36, Whitco 26. Also in boys basketball, it's Warsaw 37, or Peru Tigers 35 in a big matchup down there. Undefeated Peru Tigers. Undefeated. Holloway with the layup of a good. Go. Nice okay. look from Millie Scorzone. Yes. Millie Scorzone has made some excellent decisions with the basketball all night. Now 44-38 Warsaw with a minute 30 left. Tibby Valley in the corner. They have it. That's, or excuse me, that's Malat. She throws up a wild shot. No good. But the rebound comes away to Miller. Miller to Moriarty to snap. Her shot up. No good. And the rebound comes to the Zebras. Watson this time. Watson has a good block out by yes. Thomas that time. And the Zebras have the basketball down 23-17 with six and a half to go here in the third. Ladies, you have done a good job on the boards. Offensive rebounds for Valley, not a factor. Oz has it, jump stops, now off to Thomas. 
Thomas, the hand off to Holloway. She goes to her left, now throws it back to Hawes at the right, trying to go down low to Thomas. Yep. Thomas steps out, great job by T Thomas, just to step away. And now she'll have oh, the basketball. Got a matchup, got a matchup if you can get to it. You yep. got Malak guarding Millie. And there it there is, we Millie go. up off the glass. And, oh, 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 rolls in and out, no good. Rebound to Ooh. Styles. Yeah. Had it, all but down. About six of those so far we've seen from the ladies' Eagles. Here's Malak, left side, throws up a wild shot, no good again. And the rebound comes away to Holloway. Zebras look to push. 5.45 to go here in the third. 23-17. Holloway goes to Thomas. Left side down to Watson. Watson has it. Again, trying to go down to Millie. They can't get it to her. Watson top the key. Watson swings it left side to Hawes. Hawes back up top to Watson. Watson holds. Now puts it on the floor. Goes up for a running layup. Up no good. Uh, comes away to Moriarty. Moriarty going to go coast to coast, throws it in the corner, almost throws it away. Malat saves it. Here's a two ball for Styles. Foot was on the line, just two, and it's 25 17 now. Styles now with eight, and it allows Valley to put the press back on. The ball goes to Haas. Haas will break the timeline. Haas against, uh, against Malat, and a foul coming against Tiffany Valley, and Sid Haas will go to the line for free throws. Fouls on Snep. That is only her second. But if we can get that third, because she is a leading Valley scorer with nine. Paul's going to go to the line for the first time. She's got a three and a two so far. And as we said, Lady Zebra's one of five from the line in the first half. So if you're going to get there, you got to make it count now this half. Sid, hard off the back iron, no good. She'll have another opportunity. 25-17. They call them free throws, but if you don't make them, they prove very costly. Yes. Another opportunity for Sid. Second one's on the way. This one's good. 25-18. Five minutes to go here in the third. Zebras trail by seven. Moriarty with the basketball. Moriarty picks up her dribble. Moriarty now to Styles. Down low to Milan. She traveled. Yep. Sure did. Yep. Shuffled the feet. As she tried to get position. Didn't have him like, quite like she wanted him. Yeah. Good post defense. I think that was Hawes down there. That, yep. Uh, just kind of kept her stance, kept her arms up, and out in ahead to score zone. Score zone back to Hawes now. Lady Zebra just need to be patient and continue to get the ball inside. Holloway with it on the right wing. Swings However it. long it takes. Swings the basketball. Now Watson. Up top to Hawes. Watson, three from the left wing. Good! Yeah. As soon as we say that, of course, they bang a three, but at least they were patient. Yes, right? they were very patient. patient. And, and, Timeout, Timmy New Valley. It's a full timeout. 421 to go here in the third. 25-21. Timmy New Valley leads on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Back with more after this. Giant FM and RTC TV 4. 421 to go here in the third. Zebra's getting a little momentum here to start the third quarter. Yes, they are. Definitely. Uh, they have started this quarter on a 9-2 run. Good way to start the quarter. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> Valley has the basketball after the timeout. Goes to Styles at the elbow. Styles has it. He'll put it on the floor. Now dribble down low. Kicks it back out. Top of the key. Moriarty. Back down to Styles. Styles in the middle. Goes up and under. No good. Rebound comes away to Styles, but she has falling out of bounds and she has to throw it away. Right into the hands of Watson. Swing it. Four minutes. All the way in the corner. Watson has it to Hawes, and Hawes can't get to it. Watson's throw is a little low, and it goes out of bounds. Yeah. Turnover Zebras. Watson had a little tunnel vision on the right side, but you swing it on the left side, you had all the way all alone in the corner. 3.45 to go in the third. Top of the key is Malat. She goes left side, Moriarty. Moriarty. Down low to the lot. Blocked by score zone. Yeah. It'll go out of bounds. Again, Millie making a lot of good decisions. Maybe missed a couple layups, but in terms of offense and yes. defense and making passes, a uh, good four game for Millie so far. Jackson, able to get that block without fouling. Thomas will come out. Jackson will come in. And the ball comes uh -oh. in as Styles slips and falls down, and the pass goes out of bounds. It'll be a turnover. Zebra basketball. Good defense by Jackson making her work for the cut. She tried to yeah. make a double cut on Jackson and she fell down. Zebras have it. Watson in the middle. Watson turns it back Need to a middle. Jackson. Need a middle. Back to Hawes. Hawes, yep. Hawes did yeah. travel as she had to change directions. 
327 to go and a host of turnovers here all of a sudden on both sides. Yeah. Moriarty has the basketball between the rings for the Vikings, leading 25-21. They go to snap, back to Moriarty. She drives it in, kicks it out, two old, nope, fakes it. Now passes it up, top to Styles. Styles will step out for a three, good. Loretta Styles. That's her third three. Now she leads the Lady Vikings with 11. 28-21, back to seven point Viking lead. Holloway with the basketball in the corner. She's double teamed and Trap knocked there. loose. And last yeah. touch by the Zebras. That's where you do not right. want to pick the basketball up. The dead corner. Yeah. Right, that one dribble across there. If you're going to take those dribbles, you got to take two or three and make sure you clear that corner. Under three to go here in the third. Moriarty with the basketball. Now to Malat. Malat back to Moriarty. Travels. Both coaches are like, man, yeah. if we can just cut down on the turnovers, we could be right there. But yeah, both team leave, both teams leaving the door wide open for the other team to kind of get a spurt here, but neither one wants to. Pause goes back to Watson, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds by Valley. It'll stay with Zebras. Yeah, and the key here is, you know, it's, it's a pretty standard diamond press. The opening's in the middle. There we go. There it is to Jackson as she breaks it down the middle. Jackson and has it tipped from behind, picked up by Miller. But you got to remember, there's always people behind you. Yeah. When you're going to start dribbling, you got to be aware. They don't just disappear. Miller with the basketball. Miller against Holloway. Goes right side now to more, or excuse me, to Malott. Malott gets a screen. Back to Styles. Just inside the three-point line. No good. Rebound comes away to Jackson. Jackson will bring it across the timeline. 2-10 to go here in the third. Jackson to Holloway. Three on the way. Good to foul. There we go. Big shot. Holloway all of a sudden with eight. Holloway with eight. Holloway going to the line to shoot one for the four-point play. And that's the third on Styles, who's the leading scorer. 28-24. Could be three after this, and no. Rims out, still four-point Valley lead. 28-24, two to go here in the third. Top of the key is Moriarty. Moriarty goes right side now to Malott. Malott has it. Nice defense tonight. I can't say enough about Sid Hall's defense on Malott. Snap has the basketball. Snap to the hole. Snap blocked by score zone. Last touch by Millie. It'll stay yeah. with Tiffany to Valley, but feels like about four blocks for Millie tonight. Yeah, at least. And then, you know they. It, yes, it's Valley's ball, but every time she does that, it's yeah. just you can tell those Valley post players just a little more tentative. They get it in to Malat down low. Malat throws up a shot. Malat falling that, down throws one up. Yeah, is that her first points? Uh, she has five now. Five, she had okay. three in the first quarter, but she's been quiet since then. Malat has it. Those two. And it's now back to the corner. Point. In there the it corner is. to Holloway. Three more on the way for Riley. No good. Rebound. Millie scores own. Millie goes up, foul, no good, but a foul coming, and two free throws from Millie score zone. If this is on snap, this is her third. Nope, 22, Malott, her first. 30, 24. Millie going to the line, we need to get the line issue solved here. Yes. Two of eight. There it is. There we go. Millie hits the first one. Here's a fun fact for you, that's Millie's first point. As well as she's played, <laughs> just hasn't wow. seen the bucket. The ball go through the bucket. Yeah. One point. It does not mean she's played poorly. Don't let you yeah. fool yourself into thinking. And points. free throw is short, and ball's loose, and a jump ball. It'll be Valley basketball, but another great job by Sid Hawes, knocking it loose out of Snap's hands and going on the floor Good after it. Yeah. Thomas will come Thomas. in, and Millie scores own. We'll get a breather. Five-point Valley lead, 30-25 with a minute 23 to go here in the third. Randy Wayne, Tony Stasiak, glad you could join us here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Yep, jump ball. Yeah. Yep, it's green basketball. Yep. Jackson was trying to take it out. <laughs> well, if I stand here and the referee gives it to me, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> now Moriarty with it. Walking across the timeline with a minute 20 here in the third. 
Moriarty goes to her right, now comes back, looking down low, and they give it off to Miller. Miller, jumper on the way, no good. Thomas with another rebound. Thomas gives it off to Watson. Defensive rebound for Lady Zebra has been outstanding. Minute to go here in the third. Hawes with it. Hawes, left side. Hawes. Dribbles to the near side. Now gives it to Jackson. Jackson up off the glass. Good. There we go. Jackson's fourth. And all of a sudden, we got a one possession ball game, Randy. 30 27, Vikings lead with 45 seconds to go here in the third, setting up an exciting fourth quarter. Styles with the basketball. Styles on the right wing. Styles gives it off to Snap with 35. Snap puts it on the floor. Dribbles, gives it off to Moriarty. Moriarty. Oh, nice spinner. pick by Riley Holloway. Holloway with the steal. Holloway all the way on the left hand, or right hand layup, up and good. 30 29 with 20 seconds to go in the third. 10 points in the quarter for Riley Holloway. Awesome. Top, top the key is Moriarty with 15. Moriarty to snap on the left side. Snap goes down low to Milot. Layup up and good to eight. Zebra's going to have to hurry if they want a last second no. quarter shot. Four, three, gets it off a two, and that's going to do it. At the end of the third quarter, the Zebras have battled back and now only trail by three. Oh, he just outscored Tipkin Valley by herself, 10 to nine in that third quarter. The Zebras won that quarter, 17 to nine to pull within three, and we got ourselves a ball game. How about that? Hawes with the basketball to Jackson. Jackson down low, throws up a running jumper. Yep. Good. Yep. 32-31 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Momentum is big in this rivalry, and the Lady Zebras have all of it right now. Moriarty top the key. Moriarty spins, comes to the near side, and... You don't want to give it away, yeah. right? Yep. It's interesting how when games get tight, referees have a tendency to... Get tight. Yeah, and then at a quarter <laughs> break, they look up at the scoreboard and like, oh, it's 4-0 it's to o and fouls, and they're human too. Now they'll inbound. Malat will do it. She gets it into Moriarty. Moriarty, top the key. Picks up her dribble. And we're going to have a foul as Snap sold that one. I'm yeah. not quite sure. She tripped and fell. And Watson. Referee, referee got fooled by the flop big time on that one. Down low is Styles. Styles is quickly now all of a sudden with 30, 29 seconds, not even 30 seconds as he was picked up three quick fouls here to start the fourth quarter. Interesting, interesting. You have a quarter break, and all of a sudden you have three fouls in 30 seconds. And they get it in to Styles. Styles in the corner. Now to, to Miller. Top the key. Now to Moriarty. Moriarty with the basketball. Moriarty spins, comes to her left, loses the basketball, picks it up to Styles. Styles top the key, loses her dribble. Now gives it back to Moriarty. Moriarty. Picks up her dribble. Moriarty can't do anything with it. She's got to get rid of it. That's the Styles. Styles dribbles it back out and picks up her dribble. Now back over the top to Moriarty. Moriarty goes to the oh. left. Back door to Miller. Throws up a shot and good. Jesney yeah. Miller just kind of threw it up in the yep. air and it goes in. And here's the press again by Timmy Valley. First bench points for Valley. We just got caught over helping on that. Don't spin there. And Haas throws it away and this ball's loose. Going to be last touch. By Valley, it'll be Zebra basketball. Ooh, we'll take that one. And that was a scrum. <laughs> that was a scrum. Players diving everywhere. And the Zebras will have it to inbound the full distance. I think a rugby fan would be proud of that play. 638, Halls almost loses it and yep, travels. Falling out of bounds and she lost it. Never really had good possession of it to start with. Valley will have it right in front of the uh, student body from Rochester. 6.36 to go here in the fourth. 34-31, three-point lead for Timken Valley. Moriarty has it. Moriarty around the screen. Moriarty picks up her dribble. Now off to Miller. They go down low to Snap. Snap has it at the block. Snap goes down low to Malat. Malat, another right-handed lay or left-handed layup, up and good. All of a sudden, Malat's got nine, and Valley doing some good post-to-post -post passing on those cutters. Pause with it. Pause, cross-court pass to Miller, or excuse me, to Holloway. Three on the way off the back there, no good. Thomas with the rebound, back up and good. Yeah. Lexi Thomas. First two of the second half for Lexi Thomas. She's got seven. Nice offensive rebound. But that was still a good look by Holloway. 
36 33. Yeah, it was a great look by Holloway. The snap now with the basketball for Valley. Snap on the left side. Couple dribbles and she picks up her dribble. Now to Styles around the right side. Into the corner to Stay Moriarty. Moriarty throws up a shot partially blocked by Thomas. Picked up by Valley. Here's Miller. 10 footer on the way. No good. Sid Hawes with the rebound. Hawes gets it off to Watson with 5.35 to go here in the fourth. 36 33. Three point Valley lead. Jackson, free throw line jumper. Good. Might have got an and one too. I mean. <laughs> 36-35, a one-point Valley lead. But that foul might have helped her on the touch. It yeah. looked like she had an awful lot of momentum, but getting fouled might have taken a lot off and made it go to the net. Good shot. Moriarty has it now up to Malat. Malat in the corner. Malat over the top to Styles. Styles on the right wing to Snap. Snap has it, swings it to Mor Moriarty. She'll drive the baseline, throws up a shot. Good. That's a situation now. Watson's got three. I, was, I thought she had four, but she's only got three fouls. You've got to do a better job with only three fouls of cutting off that baseline. That was too easy for Valley. Zebras break the press. Still trailed by three with 4.50 to go here in the fourth. Jackson has it stripped by Miller. Miller gives it off to Malat. Malat, right side. Pulls it back. Almost stolen by Thomas. Now Styles has it. Goes to the hole, and she's going to be fouled. And Jackson doing a good job of that one, making sure the shot didn't go right. up. And Styles will have to earn this one as she goes to the free throw line. Right, that's Ken only Kennedy second. When you're not in foul trouble, you have that luxury and you know, no easy shots, no layups, and it was gonna be an uncontested layup and you know gonna make uh Miss Styles earn it from line. She's not been there tonight, but she's got eleven points. Zebras want a timeout, it's a full timeout. We'll take one as well. 38 35, 437 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Back with more from Rochester High School. Zebra basketball, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Rochester High School scoring update for the this evening. It was the Warsaw Tigers defeating Peru. What was the final? 51 40. Warsaw over okay. Peru at Peru. Tough good, ball game. Good game for both yeah. teams. Yeah. Peru had been undefeated, but I'll tell you what, playing a team like Warsaw will help them. And, <laughs> uh, Styles at the line for Valley. She misses the first one. Still three-point contest right now. 38-35. Plenty of time left. 4.37 to go on the Rochester last scoreboard. After being 6 of 8 from the free throw line in the first half, Valley, that was their first free throw. They're 1 for 2 in the second. They get it in, leading 30. Or Zebra's trail, 39-35. The break right up the middle. Nice job that time. They get it back to Thomas. Now to Watson. Four and a half to go here in the fourth. Four-point lead for Valley. Watson, top the key. Watson goes to Holloway. Holloway picks up her dribble. Yep, she did. Yep, she did. Sure did. Unfortunately, she had to use a dribble to because she lost the right. pass earlier. She had to use it to kind of go get it. Kind of forgot about it and took off. Sometimes they'll let you get away with it. Count that as yeah. a muff of a dribble, but not that time. 4.15 to go here in the fourth. Still 39-35. Moriarty with the basketball. Goes to Styles. Styles to Malat. Malat on the right wing. Malat gets a screen from Styles. They go to Styles on the give and the go, and Watson's going to pick up her fourth. You know, Lady, Lady Zebras have run a lot of ball screen offense here these last several years, but uh, that one caused them a little bit of tr trouble on the rotation and lack of communication. That's going to be Watson's fourth. She'll come out, and Lily Eaton will come in. Only the team's fifth. Four minutes exactly to go here in the contest. They get it in to Malat. Malat gives it back to Moriarty, to Miller. Down low to snap, turn around off the block. Too hard, no good. Rebound comes away to yeah, score zone. Great rebound. Score zone, dribbles it out. Good job, and gives it off to Haas. Sid Haas against Miller. Back to Thomas. Swings it left side to Eaton. To Miller. Eaton. She'll fire a three. Good. Well, you said maybe not shoot it on your first touch when she went in, but how about the second touch for the game? One for two. We'll take that. One point lead for Timothy Valley. 39-38. Moriarty with the basketball. It's going to be kicked by Thomas. It'll stay with Timothy New Valley. 326 to go here in the fourth. You got to give her a lot of credit, though. I mean, yes. I know she had that big game in Twin Lakes, but for a sophomore to really come cold off the bench, and after you missed the first one in the first half, to come in and be willing to take the second one well, in a big spot. I don't know if you saw it, but she passed it to Holloway. Holloway passed it back to her and told her to shoot it. Yeah, and that's <laughs> great too. You know, as you're a young player coming you know? in on varsity, to have a have a veteran have confidence in you, that that helps as well. Valley throws it away, and it's a turnover on Timothy Valley. Zebras will have it. 
Eaton gets the ball in. They give it to Thomas in the middle. Quickly ahead to Holloway. Holloway, left corner. Now back up top to Hawes, and they'll reset the offense. 3-10 to go here in the fourth. Lexi Thomas has it at the volleyball line. Now to Sid Hawes. Now to Eaton on the right wing. Eaton has it with three to go. Against Miller. Eaton. And she'll help. take it back out to Thomas. Good job by Lexi to see that yep. Eaton was in trouble a little bit and just to step out and help. They give it to Eaton. Eaton now against Styles. Eaton is going to be fouled. Yep. And that's going to be Valley's fifth. And the fourth on Styles. I mean, you're not probably going to take her out at this point. You know, kids that have four, although Watson's on the bench. But, you know, help that Eaton hit that three to give her reason to stay in the game. But you're not, probably not going to take Styles out and let her ride out with four. 2.50 to go. They get it into Thomas. She hands it off to Eaton. Eaton around the left side. Falls down. Loses the basketball. Picked up by Miller. Miller against Hawes. Miller then tries to kick it back out, and she does. Here's a three on the way for Valley. No good. Rebound. It'll stay with Valley. Tipped out of bounds by Rochester. And Valley will have its baseline right with 2.37 to go. Coach Jennings getting ready to bring in Kennedy Jackson, and he does just before the inbound pass. Jackson in. And Eaton will come out. I think probably more so the fact that she was gimpy. Did yeah. get up right away, and a girl like Eaton, you know, you, you need everybody full strength right now. The ball comes in to Styles, top to key. 2.35 to go here in the fourth. 39 38, Valley on top by one. Miller has it on the right wing. Miller drives the baseline, leaves it for snap, up and no good. Oh. Rebound, Hawes. Lady Zebra's got away with slow rotation, but, you know, they figure, hey, we missed enough layups in the first half. Valley's due to miss some now. Jackson with the basketball. Oh. Jackson up off the glass. Oh. No good. The ball's loose. Picked up by Thomas. Thomas back up and good. Yeah. Zebras take their first lead of the contest, 40 to 39. Yeah. Two minutes to go here in the fourth. Randy Wynn, Tony Stasiak. This is what we signed up for. Styles with the basketball in the corner. Styles for Valley. Picks her a dribble up. Gets it off to corner, Morgan corner, Arden, corner. Into the corner to Miller. Miller down low to snap. Turn around, shot up and go uh, up for snap. 41. 41-40. But that's her first points of the half. She had nine in the first half. That's her first of the second. Thomas brings the ball across. Ah. Has it tipped from behind. Into the hands of Styles. Styles has it for Timmy Valley and a one-point lead, and Vikings want a timeout. It's a full timeout with a minute 32 to go here on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 41-40. Valley leads it. Back with more after this. Giant FM 92.1 WROI. Miller gets it into Moriarty. Moriarty against Watson. Moriarty, top of the key, goes to the left side. Moriarty picks up a dribble, go back door, down low to snap, up and good. Yeah. Three-point Viking lead. Valley's made us pay for overhelping, not being able to stop that baseline drive and having to help, and they've done a good job of looking for whoever leaves. Miller steals it from Jackson. Ball's loose, picked up now by Miller. Now to Styles. 65 seconds to go in the contest. Moriarty has it from a lot. A lot back to Moriarty. Three-point Valley lead. Styles has it. Styles now up top. Zebra's either have to trap or jump some passing lanes because Valley's going to go to the delay offense. Under a minute. Can. 50 seconds to go. Malott to Styles. Back to Moriarty. That. Really need to trap that dribble handoff. Moriarty. Now they're going to try to trap and Thomas will get the right. foul. The other thing with that is that's not a shooting foul yet, so you let all that time kind yeah. of run off the clock. Right. Going to have to do another foul. It's going to be on the side on the yeah. sideline. 39.5 seconds to go. 43-40. Miller will inbound. Miller looking to get it in. Gets trap right there. They get a trap and a oh. blocky foul on Sid Hawes. That's only her first, but it's team seventh, so the Valley will start shooting free throws here. Quick whistle on that one. And now that'll send Malott to the line to shoot one and the bonus. And Riley Holloway will come in, and she will replace Callie Watson. 43-40. Vikings lead with 37.2 seconds to go here in regulation. At the line, shooting one, and the bonus will be Candace Malott, the 5'6 junior. Her first one's on the way. Good. That makes it a two-possession game.
Valley. 8 of 11 from the free throw line. Your zebra is 3 of 10. Second one, good again. Timeout, Tim Gnu Valley. Their last timeout. 37.2 seconds remain. 45 40. Tim Gnu Valley leads the zebras. We'll be back with the final 35 seconds after this. You're listening to Zebra Basketball. Giant FM and RTC TV. It's a two possession game. You have three timeouts. You don't need a three, but you need a quick score and a timeout. Now they're going to pick it up. No, they're going to leave Holloway open. They'll give it to Jackson. Jackson against Moriarty. Jackson. And we'll bring it across the timeline. Jackson to Hawes. Sid, three on the way. Off the mark, no good. Rebound comes away to Miller. Miller has it. Yeah. And she's going to be quickly fouled by Sid Hawes. And Miller will go to the line to shoot one in the bonus. All right, that's the, the risk reward of yeah. three. That is your first score. You're putting a lot of risk in there. It's great, but if you, you know, quick two continues the gaming call timeout. That three is kind of like we're going for it right now. Watson will come out or come in. Thomas will sit down. 45 40. 23 seconds to go here in the fourth. Valley with a five point lead and Miller at the line shooting one and the bonus. First one. Too hard off the back of the iron. Watson gets the rebound. Watson quickly up the floor from Zebras. 20 seconds. Watson to the, to the hole, ramp. throws over the top to score zone. Too hard picked up by Miller. Ball's loose and score zone's going to pick up a foul and Miller will go back to the free throw line. Callie did the right job, just maybe a little too much as she was still running, going as she threw that pass, and that kind of yeah. just carried that momentum a little out of the reach of score zone. It was the right idea in right. terms of where to look, but again, a jump stop and getting yourself gathered is, is better than kind of that runner. Miller back at the line to shoot one and one again off the back of the iron, no good. Jackson with the ball. Jackson has it. Jackson against Moriarty. Almost has it stolen, knocked loose, now picked up by Miller, and that's going to do it. Valley will kick the ball back out, and that'll do it, the final. Tibigula Valley wins it tonight, 45-40, to 40, here at Rochester High School. When we come back, we'll have the Peterson Wagner Perkins postgame show. We'll also pick the Manitou Moose Lodge player of the game. Again, the final here tonight. The Zebras lose a tough one to Tippecanoe Valley, 45 to 40 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Back with more after this, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Here's tonight's story of summer from the varsity contest. First, for Tippecanoe Valley, Chesney Miller with two points. Molly Moriarty with seven. Phoenix Malak, 11. Karina Skiles, 12. Ali and the Lady Lady Vikings tonight. Mercedes Stamp with 13. Ford Rochester, Billy Scorsell, one point. Lily Eaton and Callie Watson each with three. Sid Hollis, six. Kennedy Jackson, eight. Lexi Thomas, 9, leading the way for the Zebras tonight.